Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think these are? They are capsules, and get the exposure right, you can see they're pretty dark in color, even with the exposure wrong. Um, they have a kind of a um, earthy smell. Well, they're a mushroom, there's no doubt about that. These are turkey tail mushroom capsules. And they have a plethora of lots of different health benefits and really good for you. And mushrooms in general are really good for you. Some people have a hard time digesting them. Uh, my wife is one of them. <laughs> but, you know, a little bit of it doesn't bother her at all and actually is good for her. And she even enjoys them, in fact. Uh, but we try to keep it a little bit to a minimum. I eat the heck out of them because oh, they're really good. In fact, I made a six mushroom pot of mushrooms and lots of uh, Chinese broccoli and uh, red bell pepper and lots of garlic and it was uh, delicious and noki, shiitake, you know, all kinds of different mushrooms, uh, wonderful. And uh, I just love it. <laughs> so in these mushrooms go back to the 15th uh, century with the Ming Dynasty, the uh, turkey tail mushrooms, and they're also called karataki or cloud mushrooms, and they have a swirling pattern on them. And if you look at my uh, uh, Facebook page, you'll have a picture there of what they look like. They grow all over the world, but I don't have any downed old logs in my yard, so they're not growing in my yard. <laughs> I did actually have one little tiny stump and they started growing there, but they disappeared after a while. Uh, they do like, you know, lots of moisture. Fungus in general likes lots of moisture. They don't have gills on the bottom like normal mushrooms do. They have little pores and they're kind of a hard mushroom and uh, really interesting. And they're in the uh, varic varicolorous family and Really interesting mushrooms. They grow on, like I said, dead logs. Used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years. And for general health and strength and longevity. And we're going to talk about a lot, to, a lot of that a lot more. Other names are also uh, Tremesis varicolora and uh, cloud mushroom or karataki. And they have a whole bunch of different names. And what they look like, like I said, they have those uh, concentric circles of different uh, shades or kind of gray in color. And where they grow, they grow in the U.S. and Asia and China, China, Europe, Canada, South America, Africa, just about everywhere where you found uh, find dead trees and down logs and stuff like that. Uh, you're going to find this um, interesting mushroom growing. You can get it on a, at a lot of places if you can't find it growing yourself. If you're going to go out and forage, you know, I've gone foraging for mushrooms with friends who knew what they were doing, and that's important to go with somebody. We used to, I used to have a guy that I, I worked with. He was really into mushrooms, and he knew what he was doing. We'd go out and get these big tree funguses that had the big veins in them and they cut them like steaks they were just great uh also some little white mushrooms that uh, were in horse paddocks and that type of thing and the, uh, their grazing areas also chanterelles and oh you know uh, morels and all kinds of different mushrooms and uh, when i moved to monterey uh, also the belites which are a big mushroom with little pores on the bottom reddish looking really interesting and wonderful tasting too so if you're going to go out and gather them yourself go with somebody that knows what they're doing otherwise it can be disastrous you would only need one bad mushroom so <laughs> go with a friend that knows what they're they're up to they have a huge amount of polyphenols in them in, in these turkey tail mushrooms. Lots of polyphenols, lots of flavonoids, up to 35 different ones, which is amazing. Helps with uh, all kinds of things, and we'll get into that in a minute. How it works, they actually have also a polysaccharide in them. It helps to boost up our immune system and helps with stress, increased energy, boost up our immune system, as I said, has a lot of enzymes in it, proteins, minerals, B vitamins, vitamin D, also it's antibacterial, antiviral, wow, amazing things. It also helps with, uh, if you have a resistant 
pneumonia that, that they can't seem to treat. It helps with that type of pneumonia and E. coli infections. It helps with colds and flus to shorten the duration of a cold and flu and prevent colds and flus when in general, so that's really great. And we're in the summer now, so we really don't have too many some, uh, colds and flus, except for those summer colds that come once in a while. So uh, get some of this so you can have it for the cold season when it comes. Also, uh, like I said, it boosts up our immune system. It's really good for those who are taking chemotherapy. And the FDA, in fact, approved trials with turkey tail for uh, chemotherapy patients. So very interesting. A study in the Global Advances in Health and Medicine revealed that there was a lady, they actually gave her, she was 83, she had terrible metastatic, uh, you know, breast cancer, and they gave her turkey tail, and she lived a long, long life, and uh, very interesting. So that's only a, case, a case, one case history, but hmm, who knows what, you know, will come in the future. Helps with healing you know, human papilloma virus, and uh, with an 88% Success rate in helping that, that's very good. That's really good, in fact. Also, it's like I said, antibacterial. So these little capsules, you know, can do a great job. And helps with salmonella also and staphylococcus infections. And another study with 61 patients uh, with the papillomavirus actually found that the reduced it by 88% and 41 of the purpose. 41 of the patients actually found that it actually had reduced pro problems with the papillomavirus. So, wow, very good. And improved athletic performance. Just about all the mushrooms help in this way. It actually uh, reduces fatigue, gets you up and going, and you have more energy. And what? How many of us could use that? <laughs> uh, respiratory problems, you know, actually helps with... Uh, curtailing respiratory problems. So if you have some kind of lung disease or if you have asthma or something like this, yeah, mushrooms in general are really good for that. That's absolutely positively. So you should be taking a mushroom complex or, you know, turkey tail or something like that also. Slows the aging process. And even in Chinese medicine for thousands of years, they've been talking about the fact that it actually fights off free radicals, helps to prevent DNA damage and repair DNA damage. So Pretty amazing stuff, really. Also, helps with insulin resistance, and uh, they did studies with type 2 resistant uh, animals, and they found that giving them uh, turkey tail actually improved their insulin resistance, too. You know, that's pretty amazing stuff. AIDS and digestion. You know, it has a lot of fiber in it also, and it actually has agents that help to feed the good bacteria in our gut and uh, helps with leaky gut disease and feeds the good bacteria in a great way, along with also the, uh, you know, green bananas. If you eat those, they have a lot of resistant starch. It's a great thing to go help your gut also. Uh, a study of eight-week study of 24 people found that taking 3,600 milligrams uh, actually helped suppress the growth of problematic bacteria in the gut, like E. coli and other types of things, and Shigella. So, very good. Lowers blood sugar in general. So that's really good for those who are diabetic. Improves the possibility of having uh, strong bones and getting rid of osteoporosis. It lowers blood sugar in general, like I said, and also lowers blood pressure. So anything that has a lot of antioxidants, it can help with blood pressure in general. And it can also open up the blood vessels and help to get the flow moving in general. Helps with cancer in a big way. Uh, Journal of Global Advances in Health and Medicine showed that uh, that same woman that we were talking about before. And so that's one case that can help in a great way. Another study in Japan actually showed that it actually boosts up our immune system and, and the efficacy of the chemo worked better. Also, a study in the National Institute of Health showed that it actually boosts up the women's immunity when they had breast cancer. And so they actually did better as far as their long-term outcomes. And so they suffered less side effects also from chemo. A uh, preliminary study found that the treatment with somewhere between 45 and 90 milligrams per pound 
actually uh, increase, excuse me, decrease tumor size. So, wow, very interesting. A study with dogs actually showed that it, dogs that had come down with hemangiosarcoma, which is a terrible, terrible uh, cancer, actually they were given 45 milligrams per pound and they had a much better survival rate uh, with turkey tail. Another study uh, uh, done over a long period of time with 8,000 people with stomach cancer uh, showed that actually had they had better outcomes with taking turkey tail also. A uh, study in Japan, as I said, uh, helps with gastric cancer, colon cancer, cancers in general, so esophageal cancer may help also. So, very interesting. Lowers cholesterol and LDL cholesterol and medicinal mushrooms in general actually do this. So, you might want to take a mushroom complex. It's anti-inflammatory. Anything that has this many anti uh, oxidants in it, it really helps with in inflammation in the body, and inflammation is the first step toward disease, so we want to get rid of that inflammation. <laughs> also helps with uh, HIV, and so if you take this turkey tail, they have found in studies that actually helps with the uh, uh, cancer sores that open up, and that can really make a great job of helping to relieve that process going on. Uh, in conjunction with other mushrooms, they did an even better job. So it's a possibility they can actually help with HIV in general. Uh, how to make turkey tail tea mushroom. Uh, take two cups of finely chopped mushroom and 10 cups of water. Add a bit of honey and uh, or stevia and teaspoon of organic uh, grated lemon peel. Place in a large pot, boil and simmer for one hour and strain and through a scent strainer, place in the glass jar and put it in the fridge and drink, you know, three to five glasses of it every day and it would do a great job. And so you can bring that back and watch it again and listen to me <laughs> and it would do, you can actually make your own uh, turkey tail mushroom. Commonly used in combination with lots of other mushrooms, you know, shiitake, lion's mane, mataki, cordyceps, chaga, and I have a, uh, a few videos on some of those also, especially chaga. Uh, forms, you can find it as teas, turkey tail mushroom as teas and powders and whole dried mushrooms and extracts and capsules and powders. It really is inexpensive. I found um, actually eight ounces of powder for as little as $24. Uh, that's, that means, you know, $48 for a pound. That's a lot. Now that will last a long time. So finding, you find it on Amazon and eBay and your, your local health food store will have it. The dose is anywhere from, for clinical problems, 45 to 90 milligrams per pound. And most people take about a thousand milligrams daily. So that's really, about what most people take on actually usually two 500 milligram capsules of what it is also there's really no side effects to it but if uh, it's good to take a break every once in a while and those are pregnant or nursing and small children it's uh you know try to keep it in moderation i don't think it's a good idea for pregnant nursing or small children to take uh herbs in general but it can help and for especially small children with certain types of diseases. It can have a process of creating di diarrhea, just like my wife, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, but she still eats mushroom. <laughs> she loves mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> she just has to keep it in moderation. Some people have a hard time digesting mushrooms, as I said. And also, it can darken nails sometimes, but that's not very common, but really not very common at all. So you might want to give, you know, turkey tail mushroom a try and see how it works for you. There's also a lot of different mushrooms, and I'll be going over a lot more of those because somebody asked about mushrooms, and I'll be trying to intermittently put those in and talk about them. And uh, so maybe next week or the week after, I'll be talking about more great mushrooms. If you have questions, my phone number is 831-869-9119, 831-869-9119. If you have a, you know, a simple question, I'm more than happy to answer that. If you have a long, you know, process of many things going on, I recommend we do a, 
uh, a consult and we can set up the time to do that. And uh, my email address, you can email me at drpaulhader at gmail.com. All my contact information is down below. And my uh, you can text me and email me. Uh, you can WhatsApp me. Uh, please do all this before 8 o'clock in the, in the evening because I go to bed at 8 Eastern Standard Time. So, And I want to help you in any way, shape, or form if you have some, some kind of spiritual process going on. Uh, I notice a lot of people are kind of sad and down. And, you know, and everybody has ups and downs. There's no doubt about that. And so we, you got to keep your spiritual practice going and keep your meditation going. And eating right is super important. And being around other people and being having a, a family group and going to your temple and going to church or whatever it is that you have uh, is really uplifting. And that will keep you on uh, a path of feeling good about your life. And it's not good for us to shut ourselves in-house and, you know, just be there all the time. It's good to get out into the world and have friends and go to dinner. And, you know, one of my favorite things to do is just cook a big batch of soup and invite people over. And yeah, what more? My mom used to say, you know, company's coming, add more water to the soup, you know. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. And remember, the most important thing is... I love you.